This is the tubes I was telling you about. See the little holes that make them a little breathable? You can make them, you know, bigger if you need to, but they're all the way around. And I just use zip ties to hold them in place. But it's got plenty of room in there. And it's kind of like a rubbery poly, uh, poly it's not like styrofoam or anything. It's that other plasticky stuff. I mean, their teeth can go through it, but it's not like they can tear a chunk off and, and choke from one exotic vet that I talked to and kind of consulted with. Um, they can just put holes in it like this, but um, it's not something that they can digest. It's not something that breaks off in little tiny pieces. Um, so, as far as I know, um, they're safe they're not it's not really a material they want to chew in or chew on so i don't foresee that being a problem but as you can see i've got them going all the way down um it i just decided to do that because the ramps i mean i i know they'll figure it out eventually but since they were new and since they're still kind of skittish as they're in their burrow together so cute. I just figured, you know, as much as they were burrowing, I figured maybe they just missed their little colony. So, like, you know, underground little thing. So, I just put some tubes going to each floor, you know, just to kind of make them feel a little bit more comfortable. And, uh, I did, they made kind of a mess their first night or whatever. Or something jamming my door food yeah they dug the food out <laughs> lord have mercy i got new pans coming from um bass equipment or whatever it's called so that won't be happening anymore but it's not a big deal as long as they're happy and healthy but um that's what they are um they're called flex perforated drain tubes at Home Depot and Lowe's. Um, I got 25 feet for I think like seven, six or seven dollars. But all you really need is 12 feet if you've got a Critter Nation or All Living Things cage, which is the same thing. Um, so I mean like I have tons left over. This isn't even half of it. And then the other piece is laying in there and then I've got the rest put up in case they do pun puncture one. But, that's the setup so far. They haven't made it up here to this thing yet. Which is a cat house with matting and bedding in it. I imagine it'll take them some time to actually go exploring. Um, Ivy's kind of warmed up to me a little bit. She'll let me uh, pet her and stuff. But I'm not going to disturb them since they're all tucked in. Aren't they the cutest things ever? But, yeah, that's the tubes. And I've got um, a torn up sheet going through this one just in case they decided to get in there and go to sleep or something. So, I tried putting a house in there and they kicked it out of the way and went straight to that. So, I didn't fight it. I let them do what they naturally wanted to do. So, but yeah, that's it.